and welcome to Waffle TV. I'm Daisy Savage and today I'm joined by Michael Che. How are you? I'm good, Daisy. Nice to see you. Good. How's the Fringe going so far? The fringe is going fun. Smashingly. <laughs> That's the word that I learned here. Smashingly. It means good. You've become famous really quite quickly. You've become successful very quickly. How did you go about doing that? Or was it kind of an accident? Ah, oh, man. It was... I don't know. I don't know that I'm famous. I think that it's just, um, you put in a lot of work and your name gets around and people yeah. want to see you. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's just a pleasant surprise. They just wanted to see comedy yeah. and I happen to be working that night yeah. and they see me. So, yeah. it's, you know, it's cool. I don't really know how that happened. <laughs> okay. I wish I had a good answer <laughs> for fine. you. Well, what happened was I had a very uh, sordid romance with Mila Kunis and the tabloids <laughs> picked it up. No, it didn't happen that way. <laughs> what if that was true, though, right? Yeah, that would be great. I'm, I'm in her league. <laughs> We're both famous, right? I'm not. So is this your first time in the UK? This is my first time in the UK. And what do you think? I think that you guys um, really like chips. <laughs> this, they serve chips with everything. Yeah. Chips with cereal. But chips you, with you must chips. Have yeah. Chips a lot. In the I'm USA. sick of chips. <laughs> I'm tired of them. And I've, I haven't seen a vegetable in two weeks. You guys don't really like. You're just going to the wrong places. I think. Uh, I, maybe I am. Maybe I am. I, I gotta find some place where they have vegetables. I haven't seen a salad or nothing. It's just chips. So, what do you think of the audience here compared to the USA? Um. They're very polite. Yeah. So basically, I could just talk to them for hours and they will want to leave, but they can't <laughs> leave because they're too polite. It's amazing. They're like hostages. That's the best thing about it. In America, they'll get up and walk away. They'll answer their phone. Yeah. Here, oh man, I could bore them for hours. <laughs> That's my favorite thing about them. Yeah. Never change, UK. No, I like them. They're, they're very polite audience. They're good listeners. Yeah. And, um, have you been well received so far? I think so, yeah. I've been pretty well received. It's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess if I said no, that would make this interview a sham. <laughs> You'd be like, why are you talking to this guy that nobody likes? <laughs> yeah, I guess I've been pretty well received. It's yeah. been fun. Okay, and so am I right in thinking you were kicked out at the age of 14? Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was kicked out at the age of 14. Is this the part where the piano starts playing and I start crying? <laughs> yeah, we'll edit that in as well. Yeah. yeah. I was kicked out of the house at the age of 14. I don't like to brag or anything, but I was pretty badass. Can I say that? Yeah, on you the can air? say that. I think so. I was yeah, pretty yeah. badass. <laughs> you just not telling me I can say ass? I would, that's all I would have said. Um, do you you think can't kick ass. I know how to cook ass. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Do you think that um, that has influenced your humor, um, being a rebel when you were younger? Yeah, maybe. I like no. that. Rebel. No, I, yeah, because I'm a rebel. Kind of. I guess it does. Well, like when things like that happen, um, you're not scared of comedy anymore. Yeah. When, you're, when you've been really scared before, mm. then it's hard to be afraid of... A crowd. Look, I get on stage, and the worst thing that can happen is nobody likes me. And that's it. Nobody dies, you know? I'm not a fireman or a brain surgeon. They just don't laugh. It's fine. It's just an hour. <laughs> so I'm not afraid. And then you yeah. take more chances. And when you take more chances, then you develop into a better comedian and you become good. Yeah. So... Yeah, I guess it has helped me. Uh, anything that you go through rough helps you with yeah. comedy because it, it lets you know that it could always be worse and it's just comedy. Yeah. And so what is your show? What are the themes in your show? I don't know. Do you make them I'm, up as you go along? You I'm have a kinda, bit of improv I'm at the end. I'm kind of starting to do that. I'm like making yeah. it up as I go along. And, and um, the show is kind of incomplete and I like that. Yeah. You know, I like that it's fun. I like that it's different for you know every audience yeah and a lot of jokes i use the same you know maybe like 30 minutes of it is the same yeah but i like to switch it up and i like to build new jokes and i gotta have new experiences it's not a a proper one-man show where it's all yeah. scripted and mm. it's loose and yeah. it's you know it's a lot of rambling but it's fun <laughs> it's fun though it's a good i'm telling you i'm underselling this it's a very fun show people really <laughs> like it and um, tickets have been going great. I think we sold out the entire weekend, which is kind of weird. That's great. I think we had like nine tickets left. 
on the Sunday show, so it wasn't exactly a summer, but it was, it's yeah. been really well received and, and like I'm really happy about it. Yeah. And it's loose and it's building and it's getting better and better and, and more fun. Yeah. So even if you've been there before, come back because you'll probably hear 30 minutes of stuff you've never heard before. Yeah. And I don't know any other shows that's going to offer that. Yeah, that's true. You think you'll be back again next year? I don't think so, man. I got a lot of <laughs> felonies and I'm. Um, <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I want to come back. I definitely. You guys got to build more elevators, though. We can't do this whole walking up the stairs for everything. It's very hilly, isn't it? Here? This is this is pretty mean. <laughs> I am out of shape. I can't eat chips all day and walk up six flights of stairs to do an interview. Help me out, okay? I understand this. This country is seven thousand years old, and your buildings are six thousand years old. I get that, and I like it. It's pretty, but please. One elevator. Just one. Just one <laughs> elevator. Or rope. Some, somebody throw a rope and pull me up. Is that fair? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. I think so. We can arrange that for next year. Please. <laughs> I'm, so. I'm doing my part. <laughs> so when and where is your show? My show is at the Assembly Room Studio One at 10 p.m. every single day except for one day. And I'm not sure which day it is. It's probably the day I won't be there. So just keep coming, and if you don't see me there, then it's the wrong day. Come back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, though. Ten you're o'clock, only off though. One day, so I'm you're only not off there. one day. It's, isn't that tomorrow. brutal? Isn't that weird? <laughs> Twenty. That's a lot of shows. Yeah, it's a lot of shows. <laughs> I'm excited, and they want me to do the same show every day. Craziness. Insanity. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna do a show about this. Oh yeah, you should do. Invite us to it. Would you? Yeah. You guys can come. You, I don't, yeah, how old are you again? Yeah. He's 17. This guy is 17 years old. He's already got a good job. You know what I was doing when I was 17? Me neither. I was probably high. No, can you say that? <laughs> yeah. I, don't I, I don't know. I don't know. I have to do some more editing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you for uh, having me here, guys. <laughs> Bye, TV Land. Is that how you sign off? Yeah, that's how we sign off. Bye. Bye. Bye.